Jets. Bill Maher said the following. Bill Maher said, uh, criticizing for telling Jada Pinkett Smith to put a wig on it, right, after the Oscar slap. Yeah. He says, uh, I mean, alopecia, it's not leukemia, okay? Alopecia is when your hair falls out. There are worse things. He returned to the subject later in the show, stating, if you are so lucky in life as to have uh, that be your medical problem, just say, thank God. It's not life-threatening. It's part of, for most people, 80% of men, 50% of women. It's part of aging, uh, Mark continued. Aging is, trust me, I know, it's the degeneration of the flesh. It happens to all of us. And, you know, just put on a effing wig on like everybody else at the Oscars if it bothers you so much. The TV host has been heavily criticized for his comments, which have uh, branded hateful. Okay, what Bill Maher says. You, he knew he was going to get heat, heat when he wrote those lines. When he knew he yeah. was going to say those, those are just yeah. going to attract heat. But he doesn't care, I don't think. No, he doesn't care. I think this, this speaks to a lot of... Uh, you know, when they they made a they have an open marriage, I guess, you know, and so they made a joke earlier in this in the in the show about, uh, you know, um, them having an open marriage, and that kind of thing. So, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's it's one of those things where and she went on, you know, I think they're under a lot of stress that they seem to be under you know, Jill, uh, Jada and, and Will. It seemed, I, I hope maybe he gets some help. I think he is getting some help, isn't he, or anything? Or I don't know if he is. Or well, They said it's healing season is mm-hmm. what Jada put out. It's healing season, which I don't know what Pat healing season is. I think they should get a divorce. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced they should get a divorce. Yeah. I, I'm convinced. Yeah. Don't be surprised if in the next 6, 12, 24 months you get a tweet or an Instagram for post from both of them saying, we have decided to go our own separate ways after being mm-hmm. together for 25 years. Maybe. We love each other, pa 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 pa. And but here's what we're doing. This is the love of my life. But you know, f- mm-hmm. uh, you know, we whatever. You'll see sure. something like a well, Bezos script that coming makes sense. out. Kevin, let me yeah. ask you while we're on this topic. And Tom lives in L.A. So and Pat's from there, so he probably has a strong opinion. You moved out of L.A. five years ago. Yeah, but I mean, you're Farley. You're Farley. You've got inroads with Hollywood. You know all the Hollywood stars. Yeah, you know, we're talking sort about the of. Oscars, the night of the year for Hollywood. I guess what's your take on the wokeness in Hollywood? I don't want you to get canceled here, Kevin. <laughs> but what's your take on just no. what's happening and and how left they've gone and how you yeah. have to worry about what you're saying? And you I mean you got the hell out of there, not for political mm. reasons. I don't know, but just your take on Hollywood these days. I know that I wasn't. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not crushing in Hollywood. I don't have anything going on. You're not anywhere. competing with Brad Pitt for the role <laughs> no, of Troy no, anymore. No. All right. I'll get my, you know, my Hawaii five O's every once in a while, or, you know, I'll do an episode out of, you know, curb. once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Curb, you know, those guys were great, you know? Um, but no, I'm not, you know, so I decided let's do some stand up. I focus on my stand up, and mm-hmm. let's, you know, I get the role whenever I can get the role. Cause yeah, it got to be weird with a lot of their politics in, in Hollywood, you know, it just got to be a little scary, Mm -hmm. you know, with this cancel thing going on. If you, if in, and, and it's such a, like, if you think even a little differently, you know, then you're, you're not in the club and it is a club. I mean, Hollywood is very much of a Mm -hmm. country club. And who's running the club? Is it the, is it the billionaires? Is it the studios? Is it the producers? The rich people, the studios, the people with all the money, you know, and it's falling apart though. The money and the control, and it is a club that you are either in or you're not. Yeah. I mean, it's like mm-hmm. a country club. I mean, we don't want this guy in. I mean, do we want this guy in? We don't want this guy in. And it's kind of behavior. It's like high school. It's it's very much gossipy. There's a lot of gossip. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Gossip is so corrosive. You know, I don't like to, even when I feel like gossiping, I don't like to gossip about things. And that's a, the whole town is a gossip mill. You know, and so that's a corrosive thing on your mm-hmm. soul. So that's why people go, oh, God, this town is so gross. You yeah. know, because everybody's just talking about it. Everybody. What's else. your take on that, Zenner? You live there. Yeah, Hollywood. Pat, you made a little comment there, but Hollywood just feels different. L.A. feels different. It's not as glamorous. I think the glamour's gone. I mean, that's the sad thing for me. You drive down Sunset Boulevard or you drive through Beverly Hills. It's still great. Believe me, it's not that bad. I mean, and now that the pandemic is pretty much over, restaurants are full. There is a buzz. There's an energy. But if everybody remembers kind of that first time they go to California and how they feel, the ocean's still beautiful. There's yeah. still a lot of great places to go, but just that that spirit in the air just doesn't feel um, as great. And to me, the glamour part of it, it seems yeah. like Hollywood is okay not being glamorous anymore, and I don't know why. And I miss that, and I think the rest of the world, the rest of America, looks for Hollywood for that. It's a release. 
and they're so obsessed about bringing up all these things that people already have to deal with in their life and they're getting bombarded with it every single way they turn and Hollywood should be something else a diversion and they've gotten away from that and it's unfortunate plus the whole business is changing streamers are taking over we saw that during the Oscars now that's good because there's so many more places to make content and if you've got product and if you have something you want to pitch you've got 15 to 100 places you can take it if you're an actor you can stay busy so it's still great the world needs the content that hollywood produces but it's unfortunate you know i've just told myself until the whole until shit hits the fan i'm totally still good with la and we're lucky Mm -hmm. for where we live right so it's a great place to bring up kids you know near the water in a very safe community so we're blessed and we're lucky with that but and i and i love la i really do and i'm involved in it and i'm out in it every single day and i i part of me sad because i grew up in a small town in minnesota i'm from the midwest too Kevin, and I wanted to get to California. I wanted to get to L.A. And Pat, Mm. I'm sure you, growing up in Iran, there was this magical thing about Hollywood. I'm working on a new project right now. I'll be able to share some stuff later in a couple months with someone, a very, very high profile person who also grew up in Iran and came to America and made a big name for himself. But it was all because of Hollywood. He Mm. wanted to get there. Beverly Hills, California and Hollywood. So I am an eternal optimist. I always assume the best is going to come and I'm never going to let it bring me down. Yeah. I'm just a little bit sad that it wasn't what it was 25 years ago. You know ago. what? If you enjoyed the short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.